Without a doubt, my faith has played a tremendous part in my financial journey and in my finances on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, my husband and I govern the way that we manage our money based on our faith. So a big part of that is praying and how we pray for our finances. So I want to share some ways that you can pray some powerful breakthrough prayers for your finances in ways that have worked for me and hopefully will work for you as well. Hey guys, it's Fo from MamaAndMoney.com where I teach you how to make and manage money to become financially free. And today I really just want to share some tips and just my own experience on praying effective prayers when it comes to your finances. And as always, I'm going to leave a link to a blog post that has some prayers that you can pray over your finances so that you can see a breakthrough with your money. So when it comes to praying over your finances, the first thing that you need to be aware of is what God's word says about your finances. At the end of the day, the Bible says that money answers all things, which means money is the means by which we meet our financial needs. So you need to understand that God wants us to have the provision that we need to meet our day-to-day -day needs. So he wants us to be successful and he wants us to be good managers and stewards of our finances. Knowing this is the foundation for praying praying more effective prayers when it comes to our finances. The next thing that you need to understand is that you have to declare God's words concerning your finances. Declarations have power. So when we are declaring things, we need to declare what God says about finances in our lives. So instead of speaking lack and financial struggles, we need to be speaking about abundance, blessing, and provision that comes from God and that is stated in his word. So the word of God says that he shall provide all of our needs and that the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. So when we are declaring the word of God, we need to declare the truth that he says, that our needs are met, that he provides for us, and that we should lack for nothing. And as you are declaring God's word concerning your finances, you need to believe and not doubt. There is no point in praying prayers for financial breakthrough if you don't actually believe that the prayers are going to be answered. So you need to have faith and not doubt when it comes to your prayers concerning your financial situation and the breakthrough that you may need. So when we pray, we have to pray from a place of faith and victory knowing that it's already been won and we've already received it through Christ. So when you are praying, don't pray from a place of defeat. Pray from a place of confidence and victory, knowing that God's word does not return void and that if he said it, his promises are yes and amen. And you can believe what he says. So pray with boldness, pray with confidence and pray with belief that your prayers will be answered and you will receive the breakthrough that you're in need of. Because at the end of the day, God said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. All you have to do is call on his name and ask him and believe in faith and do not doubt. Have faith the size of a mustard seed and you will be able to move mountains. So shall you be able to have breakthrough in your finances. And last but not least, you got to put action to your faith. At the end of the day, the word of God says, faith without works is dead. So as you are believing God to put a supernatural breakthrough on your finances, you need to be doing things in the natural. You need to be getting on a budget. You need to be a better steward of the finances that you've been given, right? You need to owe no man nothing but love, working to get out of debt, saving. You need to be a good steward so that when you are putting action to your faith, you can see the manifestation of the prayers that you have been praying. The word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge right? So you also want to be seeking education around the areas and finances that you need help with, right? Things that you are ignorant about, which is why I'm so glad that you're here because now you are doing the work and activating your faith by getting the knowledge necessary to improve your financial situation. And when you put action to your faith, you better believe that God's going to do something supernatural in your life. So hopefully these tips will help you as you are praying those prayers for financial breakthrough in your life, for your family, for yourself, for your friends, whoever it is that you're praying for that's in need of a financial breakthrough, take these keys. Understand what the word of God says, believe it by faith, put action to it, and you will see a breakthrough. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please share with as many people as possible. And don't forget to check the link in the description of this video where I'm sharing some powerful prayers that you can speak over your finances to see a financial breakthrough. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.